Hey guys, and happy Sunday. I cannot believe we're almost halfway through August. And before you know it, what I'm about to share you will be available to you all. So I'm here today to talk to you about the top or 10 new releases for Scentsy. And I'm gonna be doing this in collaboration with Martha's Fragrance Corner. So go check her out if you haven't checked her out by now. Her and I started our YouTube journey at the same about the same time. We both really are into Scentsy as well as Vendor Wax. So, uh, and she also vlogs, she has great vlogs. So go check out her channel and her content. Uh, I just enjoy truly watching her. So uh, we decided to go ahead. At first we were gonna do a live and share our first sniffs. Um, but I unfortunately was at a work conference and these came, um, she already did sniffs. So, and I did sniffs with my daughter. So I'm going to go through the 10 cents, uh, and how we're going to rank them is in discussion with her. We're going to do top favorites to our least. So I'm just going to actually go through and name them all and then I'll go through what my favorites are and, and rank them that way. But I wanted to just kind of go through um, what what they are. Um, so this is the new catalog for fall winter 2023 uh, for our Scentsy consultants and we always have 10 new releases. Uh, so we're going to go talk through those right now. So the first one and I'm going to go through the catalog is Cranberry and Cardamom. So you're going to I have my daughter here. We're gonna go through um, those first. So where's the red one? And then we'll rank them. Okay, so the first one up is Cranberry and Cardamom. It's a really pretty uh, red, when red, maroon look. It, it almost kind of looks like um, a little bit like Blackberry Slice slash Christmas Cottage. No, Christmas Cottage is lighter. Um, okay. uh -huh. And uh, as my daughter's smelling it, I'll tell you what the scent notes are on it. Uh, bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. So, oh, good. you don't like it? Can't do that. Why? What's my? I have allergies. She's got allergies. So it's really weird. You do get the cranberry. You kind of get the cr a cranberry, almost similar to sun-kissed cranberry. Same thing. Not the cranberry that's in um, very merry cranberry. You kind of get that cranberry. Uh, you get the cardamom. And you get a really, really, I would say small hint of cherry. More so on the top than you do the bottom. Um, it's not bad. Um, for me, I'm not really a fan of cranberry scents and I actually truly kind of like this one. So I'm interested to see how this one performs for Christmas. It almost kind of smells like a you know, like cozy, like almost kind of like cranberry orange. Is it cranberry orange cider? Kind of gives me those cranberry orange cider vibes uh, with like, obviously with the cherry in its place. So that's the first one is cranberry and cardamom. Next one is the, blue. The next one's blue. So she's going to get the next one. So the next one, as my daughter's finding, is dashing. Oh, and that was the fruits category. The next one up is the woods category and it's called dashing. It's irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning, on, swoon, swooning under fresh nights, guys. I don't know why I do these videos with my Invisalign because it definitely makes me sound weird. So this is dashing, really pretty blue wax, um, almost kind of like the Winter's Eve color wax. And right off the bat, um, you get that vanilla. It's a really nice, creamy vanilla. Um, and I thought this one, when I read the description, was gonna be really masculine. And while you do get a masculine cologne scent, it's not that strong. So if you're not really a fan of those heavy masculine scents, I would still give this one a try. Um, you definitely get the mahogany or some sort of a wood note, but it's very, very light, uh, very light woodsy masculine cologne scent. Um, I primarily get the vanilla on the top. Um, and I do sort of get like a fresh finish, but I mainly get that vanilla mahogany kind of almost like a vanilla woodsy note. Um, I actually don't really mind this one. It smells pretty good. So I definitely would use this more in my bedroom bathroom, um, not an open concept. So, all right, what's next? Next is the yellow. No, it's not orange. Orange? No, cool. next. No, we're going down this way. Okay, orange. Orange. Okay. Is this it? All right, the next one up is Fall Feeling. It's, a, as you heard my daughter, it's an orange wax. 
Now, and yellow. Huh? And yellow. Well, next one's going to be green. So this is blood orange sugared cranberry with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. So I'm not really a fan of orange, heavy orange scents. And this one, you definitely get like a orange juniper breeze kind of scent, like really heavy with that. Um, this is from a fruit category. I mean, I guess you could say, I, I don't know. I get more like woodsy than I do fruit. I mean, I don't, I'm not really feeling this one. I thought I would like it, um, but I get really uh, an orange kind of juniper-y spring kind of notes. So it's not really my vibe. Um, but if you like orange and you like those types of woodsy orange um, kind of notes, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I do get clove. Let me smell it again. I get a very light clove. It's not heavy on clove as I thought it would be because um, I typically don't like heavy clove type scents. So let's see what's up next. Green. Next one's green. Uh, and this one is frosted cedar. And this notes is red delicious apples adorns towering white cedar and a blanket of creamy vanilla. So this is also a fruit category, which is hilarious considering it's a wood. Cedar is a wood. <laughs> And this one, at first, as soon as you open it and you get the clamshell, my daughter keeps moving this, um, you, you get the cedar. Like you get hit, hit right on the face with that cedar wood type scent. Um, I don't really get, on the bottom, you definitely get that red delicious apple. It is extremely prominent. It's almost kind of like you're walking through a, a orchard and you're just getting apple. So the apple is primarily on the bottom. I'm not really getting much vanilla. Maybe it'll come out on warm, but you really just get a woodsy apple scent. So that is frosted cedar. What's the next one? Frosty air? All right, the next one is frosty air. It's a light blue wax. And this description is sweet citrus and lily of the valley stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. And it's under the fresh category, so this is the first one. And this one, you truly get that frosty, fresh, um, almost kind of like a linen note, um, almost kind of similar to magnolia linen. So if you like heavy laundry and linen type scents, uh, definitely recommend this one. I I'm not really getting much. I mean, maybe a hint of that citrus and floral, but I just get really heavy, magno like almost magnolia linen. So floral with that laundry type note. I don't really like it. Do you like it? I don't typically like laundry scents though. Do you like that one or no? Um, <laughs> it's Lily of the Valley. It's a flower. So I don't really get... I don't get Lily of the Valley, or maybe I do a little bit, sniff it again, almost kind of like Snow White. But again, Snow White, if you've watched Martha and I, it definitely, I agree with her. It I liked it at first, and then I waited a couple of months. I think it's been out maybe three or four months. And I now get this real like chocolatey note. So I definitely agree with her on that. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really a fan of this one, just sim simply because I don't like laundry type scents. Okay, what's next? yellow okay the next one is golden garland and it's a really nice yellow gold type bar um look, can i see the set notes so I can read. um if you want there you can run down and get another catalog um so this one is forest pine needles entwined with marigold petals it's funny i was going to say it's a marigold color marigold petals sparkling orange twist and a touch of golden musk so clearly they have a lot of orange scents this year. Um, and right off the bat, I get like a really light pine note, almost similar to the pine note in Ice Pine. So if you like Ice Pine, I get this really light pine note. Don't really get much orange. Whoa, whoa. There's a the marigold or something on the bottom, almost similar to, um, what's that scent? Is it Harvest Blessings? I'm drawing a blank. I 
can't or is that bar? I don't. I can't. Huh? I can't think either. You can't think either. Oh my god! It smells similar to something. Is it? No, it's not scarlet sunflower. Scarlet sunflower might have the same scent. Let me quickly see because I know they brought. Did they bring? Yeah. Scarlet sunflower is cranberry sunflower and juicy apple. But it's not similar to something. But you definitely get that pine note from ice pine. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that one. But it's it's not bad. Um, it's not really my vibe, because again, I don't typically like tree type scents. Um, so that's Golden Garland, what's next? Uh, not that one, it's Make Me Snickerdoodle. It's a bakery, okay, so something in my eye. Yes, the next one up is the only bakery. I, again, you'd hear a heartbreak about bakery. This is Make Me Snickerdoodle, and it's a really light or orange brown wax um the only bakery and this is homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon baked to perfection did you just hit your head <laughs> um and you definitely get a really raw really strong like sugar vanilla note almost kind of similar to i want to say sticky cinnamon bun and on the bottom, you get you get that cinnamon, brown sugar, ooey gooey kind of note. Um, it's not what I was expecting it to be when I first sniffed it. I mean, I like it better than sticky cinnamon bun, but this one, huh? What do you think, you like that one? I mean, I'll take it for bakery, but it's not like probably gonna be one that I truly enjoy, we'll see. But um, that is the only bakery, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and sugared cinnamon. Make me sugar girl. Okay. What's next? Red. Midnight Mahogany. Woods, another woods. The next one up is Midnight Mahogany. And it is a, sorry guys, my eyes are, are dark brown wax. Um, this is again, the woods category. This is juicy black plum, plum cinnamon leaf, and dark mahogany. Now, I actually, I didn't think I was going to like this one um, when I first read the description. But it kind of almost gives me like, you know, really sweet plum vibes. Like really sweet, woodsy, really nice. Um, I feel like this is kind of like cozy when you're getting into the winter months. Um, more like after Christmas and you want a nice cozy scent. Um, it's kind of a little cologne but not as much as I thought it would be. And you get a really, really like super, super light cinnamon, not heavy cinnamon at all. So if you hate cinnamon, definitely try this one out. I don't get red sit hot cinnamon and I don't really even get bakery cinnamon. I just get very light cinnamon. You like that one? It's not bad, right? I actually don't mind that one. So that's Midnight Mahogany. What's next? Yes, you're right. So um, I kind of have, when I saw this one and they were talking about it at SFR, I thought, kind of thought to myself, this is, since he had one Palo Santo scent and I was never a truly a fan. And so when I started getting into vendor wax, I love vendor Palo Santo, especially certain vendors like Teddy B's and um, I just bought one from Harper James, so it's not too bad. The two heavy, not so heavier ones that I like from Palo Santo perspective is um, definitely Teddy Bees and then, uh, why am I drawing a blank? Lavender and Speckles. And I just recently purchased one from Second and Spruce along with Harper Jane's to give their Palo Santo oil a try. But I never was truly a fan. So I was like, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but let's get into it. So this is Palo Santo and Cinnamon. This is also another Woods. This is Palo. Okay. This is Palo Santo, energizes Italian bergamot, uh, ac accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. Now this one, this one, sorry, my foot's falling asleep. This one you get, it's actually not that bad. Close it up. Close it up. She doesn't like it. I like it. So you definitely get the Palo Santo on the top. Um, and then on the bottom, you get like this creamy cinnamon with that bergamot, 
really, really nice bergamot scent. If you like bergamot, it's there. Clove is there. You definitely like, you have to like clove. Um, I would say it's, it's pretty light to medium. So you have to like clove, you have to like cinnamon, and you have to like Sensi's Palo Santo oil. So if you don't like Palo Santo oil, I mean, even though the cinnamon, I feel kind of counteracts it a little bit and it's not super strong Palo Santo, you definitely still have to like that kind of Palo Santo uh, scent. So uh, that's Palo Santo and cinnamon. All right, and last but not least, this is red currant wreath. Just leave them in there. I've been, just leave them, I gotta go through them. Sometimes she helps, which is more. <laughs> this is red currant wreath. It's a spice. It's red currant wreath. It's red currant. Winter berries spice up evergreen and sandalwood branches. So when I read that, I was like, I don't think I like any of those things because I typically do not like um, evergreen and I like sandalwood, but I don't like currant. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to take that. So, so right off the bat, you get a really nice like smell of the evergreen with like light, light evergreen, um, almost kind of like the evergreen and ice schools and evergreen. Um, so if you like ice schools and evergreen, definitely this, you get the red berries, almost kind of similar to red berries and spruce. If you remember that from the releases, I don't think it's back or is it back? Um, I think they might have pulled it. Yeah. So red berries and spruce, it kind of smells similar to that one a little bit. And now again, it's not the same, but you definitely get that scent note. So it's not bad. I actually don't mind it. Um, it, it sort of reminds me also like uh, red berries and spruce, ice schools and evergreen. And uh, what's the other one? Ice schools and evergreen, red berry and spruce. And what's the other one? The berries from red berries and spruce, evergreen from ice schools and evergreen, and then a little bit of what is that note? The sandalwood? I don't know. Also, kind of little reminds me a little bit of almost kind of like Christmas cottage, and I don't like Christmas cottage, so maybe I'll like this one better. Yeah, that one's actually not too bad. So that is actually the only spice in the new releases. So there's only one spice and there's only one bakery and in the whole of the Hell 10 releases, new releases. Two fresh, woodsy, and a lot of fruit, which is actually surprising for fall winter. So, all right. So what um, Martha and I decided to talk about was the top 10, the top or the new, I keep saying top 10, it's 10 new releases. Um, and then we were gonna rank them from our top favorite to our least favorite. So I'd have to say out of all of them, uh, if I have to choose um, for the one that I really thought that I would not like surprisingly to thoroughly enjoy, I would have to say Cranberry and Cardamom. Um, I, I, I actually surprisingly like it. It's fruity, it's got that nice, cardamom like cherry i'm surprisingly gonna thoroughly kind of enjoy that one I, I feel i don't know i haven't warmed any of these that wasn't the the you know <laughs> what we're gonna do we can also do a warm review martha um but this one i really think that i'd actually like i think this would be a good transition scent from summer to fall because you got like the cranberry and you got that cherry typically don't like cherry, but I think I would like this one. So I'm going to have to say this one be my first one is cranberry and cardamom. Um, then for my second one, I'm going to have to say, um, oh, wow. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of between these two, but I'm going to say midnight mahogany as my second. That one actually is pretty good. Um, so Midnight Mahogany would be my second. Third would be Red Current Reef. Um, fourth would be, let me see. Let 
I would say dashing. I like the dashing. Whoa, as I throw it. Yeah, dashing would be number four because I still get this creamy note in dashing similar to the mahogany and midnight mahogany. So clearly there was a sale on mahogany. <laughs> An orange. Yeah, so number four would be dashing. Um, surprisingly, I'm going to say these are tied for five. Palo Santo and cinnamon. I actually prefer over Make Me Snickerdoodle, which I didn't think I would because I'm a bakery lover. So I'm going to say Palo Santo and Cinnamon as my number five. Um, so that would be my top five. And then Make Me Snickerdoodle would be my number six. Um, um, Frosted Cedar would be my number seven. Golden Garland and Fall Feeling. Almost smells the same. I don't see how they put Golden Garland in fresh. I'm not getting mus much musk. But I'd say Golden, golden Garland would be my number... Eight. Golden Garland would be my number eight. Fall feeling would be number nine. I'm not really feeling it. And then last but not least, but is least, is Frosty Air would be my number 10. So ranking from top to top, um, top favorite would be Cranberry Cardamom, Midnight Mahogany, Red Currant Wreath, Dashing, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, Make Me Snickerdoodle, Frosted Cedar, Golden Garland, Fall of Feeling, and Frosty Air would be my least favorite at number 10. So those are the top, their top 10 new scents or the new scents. I keep saying 10 because it is top 10, but I mean, those are the new releases in the fall winter catalog. We also got, and I don't think we're going to rank them, but I think I might. Um, consultants also got early access to the Harvest Bundle. It's so cute. Bag is super cute. And it says, no tricks, just treats. And the funny thing is, and I wonder if Martha's going to say the same thing. I actually, out of all these, I prefer these scents over the 10. So I only kind of like maybe three or four. I, even though I rank them, I really only kind of like three or four scents in the new 10. Um, but these, I actually prefer them more. So I think I liked like three or four out of that, which is saying, um, saying a lot. <laughs> and here's the Harvest Collection 2023 flyer. Here's a sneak peek on some things that are coming. Uh, super cute. Um, these will be available uh, to the public. I think it's October 1st is when these things come out, or maybe it is September 1st. September 1st, it might be Harvest Collection too. Don't hold me to that. And then October 1st might be the Christmas. Um, I'm drawing a blank onto the dates and I fortunately can't check because I'm filming on my phone, but really, really cute. The fragrance flowers look awesome. So I will, I'll, I will not digress, but we're here to talk about the five bundle, five bar bundle in the harvest collection. So we'll start off with the first one, which is cashmere leaves, which is right here. And it's also right on the top and it's a really pretty brown wax, like almost kind of similar to now, I would say this one's more mahogany and this one actually is more brown, if you had a look at it. Um, so the first one is cashmere leaves and the scent notes on here are apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. And a lot of vendors, and I'm glad that Scentsy's getting into it, is using cashmere. We have ca Cozy Cardigan, which has got cashmere in it, but we don't really have a lot of cashmere scents in Scentsy. And so I'm glad that they finally decided to pick up on the trend. Um, so this one is cashmere leaves. I said again, apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. When I first sm smelt this, and I wonder if Martha's going to say the same thing. I don't have a bar here. I had thought to grab it and I forgot. But I almost kind of get the spice in blackberry spice. So I feel like if you like blackberry spice, 
And at first I didn't like Blackberry Spice, but man, do I love it on warm. That one was a little sneak attack as I eat the wax. That one actually snuck up on me, but this one is so, so good. You get the apples, you get that hint of leaves, almost kind of similar to painted leaves, but I don't like painted leaves, so don't let that turn you off. But you definitely get, maybe it's that note that's in um, Auto Maple Glaze. I don't know, but this one, I'm still getting Blackberry Spice vibes. It's, it's really good. Um, I actually am looking thoroughly to enjoy that one. So if you like apples, and you like like a, this one screams fall cozy bedroom, like totally. Um, all right, the next one, I'm gonna go down the pages, is a bakery. And this is Dutch apple bread. And it's a light cream wax. Look at how cute the packaging is. It's got a little bread on it with apples. So cute. I have to hand it to them. This one is fresh sliced apples, warm cinnamon, rolled oats, and brown sugar. And so you definitely get like a spiced apple, but you also get this weird kind of, I don't really get much oats because I was hoping it would almost sim be similar to apples and oats and maybe apples and oats had a baby with, um, what's that one with the bread? So wasn't there a bread one? I thought we had a bread one at some point, like before my time. I was bringing back my bar, but this one, it's weird. It smells super sweet, but I don't get much brown sugar. I don't even get much oat. I really just get apple cinnamon, maybe similar to apple and cinnamon sticks. So I'm curious to know how this one, it kind of smells off putting. I don't know what in here it's in here, but I do not get much bakery from it. I just get apples and cinnamon like a red hot cinnamon. So you have to like red hot cinnamon. Don't get like bakery cinnamon, which is so strange. So I wonder if anybody else gets that, but I don't get much bakery from that. So that's Dutch apple bread. The next one is fall into love. And it's a pretty green wax like icicles and evergreen. This is fresh orange peel, cool eucalyptus and sweet balsam. So it's fall into love. Yeah, clearly they had a sale on orange. I lost my helper. Oh my God. So on the bottom, you definitely get that orange. Smack dab in your face. You get an orange sweet balsam. Orange sweet tree note. And you kind of get a little eucalyptus on the top, but not a lot. I just get really heavy perfumey pine. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my vibe. So if you like tree notes and you like balsam, you definitely will like that one. All right, um, the next one, and I love this one, love it. And I'm so glad that they have other things in the Harvest collection. I think they even have a flower in it. Um, yeah, they have a fragrance flower in it. And I'm not even too sure. I think I thought, saw that they also had pods. Yeah, they even have pods. So I'm glad because this one is super yummy. And that is Forever Fall. It actually is kind of scary because when I smelt this, I'm like, uh-oh. It smells similar to a mixture of like pumpkin cinnamon swirl, had a baby with, um, what's that other one? Now I'm drawing a blank. Oh my God. I think it was pumpkin cinnamon swirl with something else, but you get the pumpkin cinnamon swirl type vibe. And so this one is baked pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and brown sugar. So on the bottom, you get hit with this cinnamon brown sugar. It's super yummy on, on cold. Uh, and it just smells really good. Maybe it's, I think I was thinking of Bright Cider Life had a baby with pumpkin cinnamon swirl. That might be it. So if you like pumpkin cinnamon swirl and Bright Cider Life, which didn't, unfortunately, that is my sensey heartbreak, but I did add it to club. That is Forever Fall. So if you couldn't have those or couldn't get those scents, I think that's... I think that's ultimately, ultimately what you would get from this bar. So that is Forever Fall. Totally love that one. All right. And last but not least, we're 30 minutes in. We're going to get done in 30 minutes. Is White Pumpkin and Driftwood. A really nice gray, gray wax, similar to almost um, 
around the campfire color. And so this one is white pumpkin, driftwood, white cardamom, and warm solar amber. And this one's great. I didn't think I'd like this, but you get the white pumpkin note similar to Homeworks pumpkin. Uh, you're gonna hit my stand. Um, really nice white pumpkin scent with a hint of driftwood. So almost kind of, I don't know what you would put this in, maybe a fresh category. Um, so this is white pumpkin, driftwood, white cardamom, warm solar amber. So if you like amber notes, like this one is a really pretty, pretty scent. You kind of get like this cologne pumpkin vibe. It's different. It's not anything that Scentsy has done before. Um, so I actually really think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this one. You kind of get like a fresh kind of pumpkin, you know, cozy type scent. It's different. I've never smelt anything like this. Totally, totally love it and looking forward to warming that one. So, all right. I know we said, Martha, that we weren't going to rank the, the Harvest Bundle, but I am going to rank it. So from my favorite to my least favorite. So my first one, obviously, would be Forever Fall. This one is just, oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, so yummy. So that first one would be Forever Fall. My second one would white be White Pumpkin and Driftwood. My third would be Cashmere Leaves. Um, just because I have to rank them. Um, Dutch Apple Bread would be number four. And last would be Fall Into Love. So, and that's just because I don't like tree notes. Actually, you know what? I actually think I might like Fall Into Love better than Dutch apple pie. Like there's just a note in here. So these might be tied <laughs> for the least, but uh, nonetheless, these are not, not my, my jam on cold. Um, I definitely like these three. These are definitely going to be, I think, good performers An open concept, bedroom, bathroom, highly, highly like these and recommend you get this bundle. Um, and usually they do a three bar bundle. They're doing a five bar bundle this year with the bag. And I think it's retailing, uh, US pricing is $25 or you can get them for six. So um, I, don't, I don't see it lasting very long with the treat bag because it is a cute, nice fall gift. Um, but those are, my, those are my ranks. So that's it guys. I wanted to share with you um, the 10 new releases for the fall winter as well as the um, the Harvest Bundle that's coming to us September 1st. So definitely check uh, check out Martha Frangris Corner when her video goes up. Uh, check her out, check her channel. Um, and I'm curious to see what how she ranks hers. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.